Greetings, art connoisseurs. It's Drew. Time for another installment of the CPMA, and that's the California Pickin Museum of Art, where I show you individual examples of fine art and antiquities from my own private collection. And this is part three of my Asian tour today, guys. The first video I showed you some um, basket wares from Japan. The second video I showed you some porcelain ceramics from China. And now I'm showing you some uh, what I believe to be Chinese cloisonne. And uh, cloisonne refers to these little wires right here that are made out of brass, I believe. And these are crafted by, I don't know, incredibly patient craftspeople to make those little shapes. And then it's filled in with a um, uh, sort of enamel glass-like porcelain material that's all ground up in different colors and inserted in the different areas. You can see how difficult that would be. And that's called cloisonne. And uh, it's gone, it's really developed in China. The Japanese also do some cloisonne, but uh, this happens to be a Japanese lacquer box with a cloisonne inset panel. Really attractive. Now when you look for this older stuff, you, you don't want that shiny new stuff, that lacquer that you can see your face in. See how this is dull? That's what you want. You don't want that shiny new stuff. And um, uh, this, I'm just guessing, I don't exactly know because I haven't had it appraised but or looked at, but I'm guessing this is probably in the neighborhood also of uh, early 20th century. Uh, could be a little older than that but don't know. Um, I've seen more intricate um, designs in the cloisonne department in probably older ones, but it's a nicely hand-painted gold stenciled box. And um, what you, you also want to look for is wear around the corners and the edges. And you see that gold has been rubbed off there, which means that it's probably been around and handled a bit. That's what you have to look for as well. Now I always turn the box over and to see what's on the back. And China very often way back when had these export stamps that they would have to put on them. And that's probably the remnants of an export stamp. Export, import, what have you. And see how the uh, lacquer box is not that shiny. I can't even, you see, you can't even see my reflection. If you can see reflection, it's not really that old because this haze kind of happens after a whole bunch of time. Now, I liked the box initially right off the bat, and then when I looked on the inside, I saw that there were two little stickers with some Chinese lettering on them. And I had these looked at by actually somebody at the uh, antique show who's Chinese. And sometimes I've brought these in, as I said, to my Chinese restaurant and find the oldest guy in the restaurant and see if he can read that. Can you read that, guys? Is there anybody out there who reads Chinese? This is a name. A person's name. I'm not sure if it's like that or it's like that. I don't know. But on this side, there's a different name. hard to get that in focus. I'm getting a lot of glare in here. But, um, and then you see some dust and some grime in the corners. Always a good sign. And, uh, this item came from a little thrift store and it was $25. A little bit more than I wanted to pay or that I'm used to paying, but, uh, a real fine item. Now, this is Chinese, I believe and Chinese porcelains and cloisonnés and what have you artworks tend to be very busy they want to fill up all the space there's all, there's no place your eye usually rests but in Japanese cloisonné and artwork and porcelains and what have you they like to actually not fill up all the space here's a really fine example of some very old this is 19th century cloisonne, probably Japanese I'm guessing, because of these blank spots. See all those blank areas? They're not filling it all in. So that's in general 
how you can tell Chinese from Japanese in general, not always. Sometimes the Japanese go off and get a little busy. But see how they have those blank areas? This is a great tripod form incense burner. Beautiful. I've had this for quite some time. I don't think this is going anywhere. So incredible. I wish you guys could see the the detail a little better. Just too much glare in here today. But anyways, that's the that's the um, cloisonne section of this of this video from Asia. So uh, yeah, please share on Google Plus and Facebook and hit like. Of course, I'm waiting. It's that button down there. I'm waiting. Go ahead. All right. I'm waiting. Oh, hey, thanks for pushing like and uh, come on back to the CPMA, the California Pickin Museum of Art. All right, guys, so keep on picking your fine Asian art. Cheers now.